What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Kendra G's dating show is getting quite popular. So popular that celebrities are stopping by it. And stop the show. Hopefully, you go and check out my new show, The Pan African Dating Show, which is better than hers. I'm just gonna be real because you know Kendra don't invest in her stuff like I do. So go check me out over at the Pan African Dating Show. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank you. But anyways, brother YK Osiris stopped by the famous rapper. You know Kendra G is looking for uh, people who want to get hooked up. Um, and YK Osiris stopped by, and he talked about what he's looking for in a woman. But he then also talked about what he's looking to do for his woman. I want to play a clip of that and then I'll come back. Question, but you are famous and you work in music, so we know you are very successful. And your dynamic, do you are you the person that pays for everything? Or like what is the type of uh financial situation you want in your relationship? Um I do pay for everything. I pay like I pay for bills and stuff like that. Like bills, hair. I, I I never let a woman pay for the hair and nails. That's off the roof. Like no, like you're not paying for no hair and nails. That's like that's my that's my get that's my thing though. Like I don't know about other niggas. I just know what I do. But like hair and nails, you never paying for it. Bills ain't paying for it. House ain't paying for it. Like I think your personal your personal things you want to do, you can do that. But other than that, outside of like you know bills. Make sure you clean, make sure you cook, and make sure you, you know, make sure you cook when I get home. But other than that, like, ain't no, ain't none of this going on. Well, look, you know your inbox is about to really be flooded off of that alone. <laughs> you said you ain't paying for anything. Basically, you ain't paying for your nails. You ain't paying for you. No, nah, that's, like, but that's how it's supposed to be, though. You ain't, I don't think a woman should should pay for no they hair and nails, especially, especially somebody that you love and somebody you having sex with. I don't think you should. What? You know what? Not every man is as, as financially su as successful as you. So no, I think what happens is because you say these things, right? And sure. you can do it. You know, you have the money to do it. it. It raises the bar of wanting every woman to desire that. But the unfortunate thing is you're a part of a 1% category. Sure. You know, like, so you are, you are representing 1% of the financial, you know, spread of America. And that's why you say that. So women expect every man to do what you just said, but that's just not reality. For I mean, sure, it's your sure. reality, but right. it's not every man's reality. But I, but I, but at the end of the day, it's like you know, if you're going back to a man, at the end of the day, if you're not, if you're not gonna do it, another man gonna do it. You know what I mean? So it's like you know, you know, you out there, you out, you out coming home to him. You know, trying to look beautiful. Who you looking beautiful for? You ain't looking beautiful for nobody else. So you know what. You know, so I'm gonna make sure you good. So what, like, you know? So. Okay, oh, well, you talking that talk. All right, let's do the Kendra. So as you heard there, hair and nails, you ain't paying for. Bills, you ain't paying for. House, you ain't paying for. Now, personal things you wanna do, you can do that outside of bills. Make sure you clean and make sure you cook when I get home. Other than that, ain't none of this going on, okay? Now let me let me let me kind of talk about this. A lot of brothers are going to have something to say about that. Some of the brothers believe in the 50-50 relationship or, you know, look, I'm not paying for these chicks whatsoever. I mean, I'm not paying no chicks rent. I mean, you know, times is hard. And listen, I, I get that. All right. Because a lot of brothers is paying for chicks rent. And they dealing with somebody else that ain't giving them nothing. I get it. And some brothers is not in a situation where they can financially be paying that for a woman. And a lot of brothers will feel like it's not even worth the investment. And I can agree in many cases. But it's the attitude for me. Okay. And if a woman is worth the investment which I know it's hard for a lot of brothers to deter that. But now that's something that I like, right? And, and, and we gotta understand that other groups of men, I'm just gonna be real, 
as much as they can can provide their women with those sorts of things those groups of men get more respect i don't care what dating coaches say dating coaches are what they're talking about dating coaches will say you need to have game if that's all you need to have those guys are foolish in my honest opinion okay all you need is game and charisma and all that it's short term short term if if you're going to be the guy that's smashing and dashing and stuff like that yeah i mean i, I mean that's, that's that's cool yeah it works but if you're a guy and you're looking to have some type of respect from ladies it's traditional roles now i know i, I know what guys are gonna say a lot of women don't want to be traditional themselves got it but he who has the goal can make the rules and you know what he's saying listen i'm willing to do x y and z if you're willing to do this for me i want you to take care of me so i'm going to make your life easier and subsidize your life so that you have the time to take care of me okay and what i found out is those kind of men don't usually have that many problems with women in, in, in comparisons with guys who are not providing for example a lot of my friends i know who are let's say over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year i'll mention one right now here on there brother andre hatchet i'll talk to you know some of these guys and when we talk about the problems that some brothers have with ladies and you always are going to have problems with, with women no matter how much money you make look at will smith right but on average those guys don't complain about women the same way that guys do who don't or who are not as successful you're always going to have complaints you know, yeah women are going to be entitled right, right but but the guys who are really doing stuff the guys who really are productive having re re uh, results guys like yk osiris yeah, I mean, you know, you're going to have some bad ones here and there if you choose that. But brothers like that, especially if you're a guy that has standards and you're selecting the right person, you're not going to be complaining about the guys who don't invest into what they want their woman to become. And a lot of men want femininity and a lot of stuff. And I get that overseas is a good option. But still, even if you go over there, you're going to still be relatively doing the same thing for them over there at a cheaper cost but you're gonna still do it you definitely not going over overseas being 50 50 it's not gonna work and, 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 and what i'm saying is for men who want that experience of a woman who's gonna be submissive whether they do overseas or in states you're gonna be making that investment overseas obviously is going to be cheaper one right if you're over there and i get it but the mindset that a man wants to i want my woman to do this i'm willing to give her that if it's a serious relationship that's what it takes and for me personally i'm saying i'm not a 50 50 guy either i don't know about you if i have a woman i'm dealing with or a wife my wife is not gonna be out here what my wife's going half on the rent my wife is um going half on her automobile I mean, obviously she's, she's a woman that I feel that's different, right? She has to do something for me. She has to make me feel good, make me feel like she cares about me. She has to be honoring the rules, staying within the boundaries. You see, but no, I'm not gonna be out here. Uh, let, let my woman stress out. What kind of, what? No, I'm, 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 I'm from Nosco. Because I expect a certain service from this woman. So I'm willing to invest and what I'm looking for her to, to give me. A lot of brothers are out here looking for women to act a certain way and brothers are not creating that environment for women to give you that. I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no, no, no Tatiana's. No, I'm talking about a good woman, right? A woman that you feel is valuable. 
And that's one of the things about black men. Like I told you, black, a lot of black men don't have no reinvestment in the community. A lot of black men want, want, want women to black women to be women, and you, and there's that that ownership is not there, the provision is not there. And I know brothers is gonna be on me in the comment section, but guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of the Serbian Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. I'm out.